All right, season 19. All right, um, this is the first fully serialized season, and they've done this pretty much every season since, specifically with Randy Marsh and Tegrity. Tegrity, gotta have Tegrity. Um, they do that with Randy Marsh, and they, they have like season arcs, so there's a grand arc, but this is the first time they did it. So before this, they had like uh, trilogies, and they had you know two-part uh, episodes and, and stuff like that, or they had themes throughout the seasons, but this is like a full arc where episode one connects with episode 10 in a, in a storyline, you know, and it's not necessarily linear, um, but you know, it's a it's a pretty rad season because it gets all into uh, Overlord Trumpito um, and his um, campaign promises, which they mock and fuck them all to death when Mr. Garrison goes to Canada and literally fucks the Canadian president who is like Trump to death. Um, <laughs> Where my country gone? That's the episode, which we won't watch. OK, um, but the main themes here, there's three of them. You know, uh, uh, number one, political PC culture. PC culture is the primary theme, specifically with the introduction of PC principle as this, you know, excessive, representing the very excessive, extreme, extreme of PCness. Okay, we have gentrification, which we'll talk about um, primarily uh, when we talk about the. Uh, Whole Foods coming to South Park. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of other things. Whole Foods in general. Um, Tom Brady versus the M NFL. Uh, you broke the rules, rules, rules. <laughs> I didn't break the rules. You broke the rules, rules, rules. You know, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Amazing stuff. Always ripping into uh, Brady and the Patriots. I love it. Um, and promoted content. Ads is a major part. But they get into like the whole political race. Uh, the NFL, a bunch of NFL stuff, um, body acceptance, and um, LBGTQIA+, um, you know, talking all about that, all, all about, um, all about that in many ways. Um, gun politics, police brutality, body shaming, all, all like, you know, a lot of really current um, topics in society. And they kind of weave this all in. But the three main things are gentrification, promoted content, and PC culture. All right, so we're going to set it off watching Stunning and Brave. This is the first episode of season 19. Um, and this is, <laughs> this is a good one. I, re I really like this episode. Um, having... I don't know. It's, I just thought it was pretty good. Okay, so it's it's a pretty powerful critique on both politically correct culture and small town mindedness. And I think this is this is the real value of South Park. Is again, while it shows like it's kind of they're trying to sit in the middle and rip on rip on everybody. So again, the 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 sort of myopic views of small town, any town, USA are put on blast here. But then also extreme political correctness. So. Um, they, they, they kind of they kind of match those two things. Um, rip on Tom Brady and the NFL and uh, his cheating, um, you know, deflate gate and all that stuff. Um, this episode rips on Caitlyn Jenner, although you do not see Caitlyn. And, you know, hey, they basically, you know, talk about Caitlyn Jenner as a, a shitty person. Depending on your perspective, and again, Caitlyn was labeled a hero, and, and again, I think what, what, what the moral ends up becoming is Kyle says, she could be a hero, just not a hero to me. And that's an interesting point to make is that, you know, how we define things like hero or villains or how, you know, however you want to think about them, that's a very personal uh, way of defining someone, you know. Um, and a lot of people think Caitlyn and Bruce are pieces of shit. I mean, if you watch the um, the show about Caitlyn Jenner after she had, you know, been public about her transition, I mean, she's still like espousing these very conservative views. Um, she was with all these other trans women who were talking about violence, uh, being raped, all, all this stuff, you know, systematic violence. And then here's Caitlyn coming from, you know, a who, who kind of was just like, oh, I didn't, I just like to shop and like, I 
don't get what you're talking about, you know, and, you know, also ran over and killed someone, which they get into in the episode, um, you know, but, you know, is, is she a hero, you know, and, um, or like a shitty person, it sort of depends, you know, I would say, I think Caitlyn's a hero for coming out specifically given, like, And being herself, specifically given, like, Bruce, you know, and the history of Bruce fucking Jenner. Like, one of the greatest American athletes, one of the most, like, commodified American athletes. And that sort of macho thing. And having to, like, live his whole life not being who they were, you know, which which is Caitlyn. Um, and finally, with you know all the keeping up with the Kardashians and, and and being themselves, I mean, that does that takes a lot of um, a lot of courage, you know. Uh, but also, you know, is Caitlyn kind of a shitty person? Bruce was a shitty person, you know. I mean, that's kind of I don't know. Like it's a debatable thing, and they get into that. Um, what does PC principle, there's a scene where uh, he beats the shit out of Cartman. Um, and he says, you better watch your microaggressions, bro. Think about what that reflects. And what that really reflects is this, is us, people who believe in equitable language and political correctness. This is a, a satire, a parody, you know, however you want to think of it, of how you force people to be more equitable in their language how you force people to be more pc you beat the fucking shit out of them and the question is does chart cartman really change and he does for a little bit and then he goes back you know to cartman um in in the in the end and we know it at the end too cartman wins so just kind of think about that he usually he usually he usually doesn't he gets his cake and he gets to eat it too um etc and just think about the significance of Kyle admitting that um, Caitlyn is, is both a hero and brave. What does it mean when he does that at the end, when he doesn't really think or believe that? And how does that sort of get back to this whole thing that Matt and Trey have tried to articulate is, you know, is political correctness um, and, and pushing that, um, does it create acceptance or tolerance? You know, and the way that Kyle talks and says that Caitlyn is a hero is more of a view of tolerance versus acceptance. Does he really think that? No, he says that just to end the bullshit, you know, the craziness that's, that was going on at, at, at the end of the episode. Okay, um, so as we watch this, just think about what does politi- uh, PC principle and his frat represent or how do they represent PC culture? How does this exemplify some of the flaws um, that I talked about earlier, or you know, um, at least from the perspective of Matt and Trey about political correctness? And how is this a libertarian take? Now, if we think about libertarianism, and we briefly define this, you know, it's about freedom of speech um, and freedom in general. And so, does forcing people to change their language is, you know, is that about freedom? Uh, is that anti-libertarian. So I think the question here has to be this. Um, Libertarians would think like, there should be no intervention with how people live their lives unless um, what they're doing is harmful to society. So is using language in an offensive way harmful to society? And that's, that's, so how does this represent a libertarian take on PC? And can political correctness be viewed as extreme? In what ways can it be viewed as extremism? You may think it's right and the, the, the underlying ideas may be right and very important, but how can it be seen as extremist? So just think about that when we watch the episode. All right, so this is Stunning and Brave, and then we'll start talking about uh, gentrification, and um, we'll watch another episode of South Park, um, and we'll move through this season.